Andre roasted Harry right on TV. Spares sales touch bottom after boycotted by 88% of Britons. Prince Harry's book and interviews have left him vulnerable to allegations of hypocrisy, a PR expert told Newsweek. Spare became the fastest-selling nonfiction book in history after shifting 1.4 million copies by the end of its first day. But the publicity campaign has been a disaster for his reputation, Edward Corn James said. I think it outsold initial week one sales for Obama's book in the U.S., but I can't see overall sales in a couple of years being equal. In the UK, only Harry Potter sold more in the first days. The final Harry Potter sold at least three times more, if I remember correctly. According to statistics, sales of the book Spare are currently plummeting. The chief executive of PR agency Go Up told Newsweek, If the brief was just to sell books and get high viewership numbers, then they've smashed it. They've done a terrific job. If the brief had a reputational component, and that element of it has been a disaster. I think in terms of actual reputation management, if there's any regional component, then it's worst I've ever seen. If you're going to lay charges at the feet of others, you've got to make sure you're not doing the same thing yourself. Harry said both in the book and in a series of high-profile interviews that his family were briefing against him in the media and offered that as a justification for describing deeply personal moments in his memoir. James said, You can say, right, this person's really rude to me. Then, six months later, you're caught up being really rude to someone else. That's hypocritical. The way the Sussexes have been hypocritical has been much more direct than that because their actual response itself has been a double standard. It's not that they've been caught leaking elsewhere. They say, we hate leaks by leaking. That's because they're doing their own PR. They obviously thought that things were going to get better than what they have because they mistakenly think that they are right in this whole situation. There's not money for a professional PR, in my opinion. Thus, here we are. Lousy PR, Megan manifesting invitations to non-existing meetings, throwing out divorce settlements. Elsewhere, writer Meredith Blake analyzed the Duke of Sussex's recent Netflix series and memoir. Ms. Blake says Harry wrote 400 pages in his memoir setting out a case against the monarchy, but ultimately dodges the very pertinent questions he raises about the dynasty he once epitomized. Ms. Blake also challenges Harry's view, saying that the fact that Duke says he has no problem with an institution he criticizes so heavily is disingenuous. The writer also concluded that Harry and his wife Meghan Markle should give up their royal titles. Ms. Blake's comments come as, a, according to a poll, 88% of British and 76% of Americans boycotted Harry's book. In other news, Peter Andre has slammed Prince Harry following the release of the former royal's explosive tell-all memoir. The pop star, who is no stranger to a family controversy following his high-profile relationship with Katie Price, called out Harry for throwing his family under the bus. Interesting. Following the headlines of Prince Harry and his book, Peter has now chimed in and shared his thoughts on the explosive royal fallout. Writing in his new magazine column and TV show, Peter admitted that he's not sure he'll be reading the book and feels sad to see the claims. I'm sure there are some bits that Harry genuinely means and that he's traumatized by some things, but to continually throw your family under the bus just does not sit right with me, especially after only recently losing the Queen and Prince Philip. There are other ways of dealing with trauma than publicly trashing your family. If he has a lot of trauma, someone should be helping him. 